here, so we'll go. Okay, I want to remind everyone of the City of Perry staff core values. It's a strong worth ethic, problem solving, community oriented, shows professionalism and integrity, is team player, is accountable, and is a good steward. Never will call, please. Waller? Yes. Wally? Yes. Dully? Yes. Scott? Yeah. Klein? Yes. And uh, approval of meeting agenda. Motion approved. Second. Discussion? Roll call? Sully? Yes. Fine? Yes. Mahler? Yes. Wally? Yes. Scott? Yeah. Okay, consent agenda today. We have the minutes of the November 4th regular city council meeting, two payments for contract service, one to Bolton Bank, one to Eocene for $9,476.33. Claims registered in financials for $795,737.55. And we do have one license application. Uh, the Tin Pig is requesting an additional outdoor service area on Warford Street on the south side of the Tin Pig for one day starting November 29th and expiring November 30th. Um, and everything's been completed by the police and fire department. Oh, no. Uh, fire department still needs super. So we'll be pending that. But um, any you know, motion on that? I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? Just a question. What's happening there? Mm -hmm. David, do you want to? I think you're having a fight. Next question was Are we invited? Okay. No other discussion. Roll call, please. Colin? Yes, smaller. Yes. Sully? Yes. Scott? Absolutely. Why? Yes. Okay. Uh, the city administrator is on vacation today. Um, I'm sure if he's here, he'd be reporting about his hunt. Um, haven't heard if it's successful or not, but we're wishing best of luck. Um, mayor's comments. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone that was involved with setting up the employee safety day. Um, I guess it was two weeks ago. It's a couple days after our last meeting. Um, uh, it was a really nice event. Um, I'd like to thank all the employees for another really safe year and encourage them to continue working safely and uh, keeping themselves safe and out of harms and going back home to the family every night. And um, I would like to uh, thank you out to all the people that had milestone um, service anniversaries. Uh, there's a lot of them, so I'm not going to listen here again, but um, congratulations to all of them. So, uh, any of the council members have any comments? Just wanted to say thanks to the people who ran. I don't It was a beautiful event. Well attended, even though it rained. It's nice to see so many people. What? I'll echo that some of the bar. Yeah. Anything else? Okay, we'll move on to open forum. Uh, speakers, we ask the microphone and state your name and address for the record, and you'll be given a few minutes to address the council. So, Tom, you want to come up? <laughs> One more, we have a forum for class of 73. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> I'm here as a veteran. This one to extend my appreciation for, for, for the support of the city in the past year. So, um, Reference Day was a week ago. The support of Memorial Park, the Asian Basin, hasn't looked better, I don't think. Lighting power gardening, gardening yesterday, the plan that we made the professional gardener in there to. To maintain that, to that, and also to the easy building the work that you're doing. Unbelievable. So, John, a lot of your crew. Thank you all. Thank you. Yes. Um, there's no flag in here. So I know this is my great quarter, but anyway, <laughs> one has your bathroom now. Right there it is. Okay. Thanks, Mike. So we'll put the big one in. Thank you. Um, any other? Open form requests. Okay. There being none, we'll move on to old business. Um, item A is approval of pay application number 17 for the runway 1432 
relocation phase three in the amount of $53,795.93 to Minots Inc. Um, for erosion control, seeding, fertilizing, and mulching, electrical, and reflective markings. Um, been uh, reviewed and signed up by the project manager who recommends approval. We have a motion, please. Make a motion. We approve the application on the 7th floor. Second. 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 Discussion? Uh, yeah, can uh, this is Garrett with Bolton Main. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, so project is winding down at this point. Really, all we have left is some punch list items. Uh, notably, tomorrow afternoon, the FAA is coming in one of their flight check uh, aircraft to flight check the uh, the pappies, the reels, and the runway edge lights themselves, as well as fly the approach and finalize all that stuff. Um, so after that point, uh, the two nav aids that are installed on this project, the pappies and reels, will be able to be uh, commissioned officially and then remain on um, both, well, uh, airport manager Jack Butler, myself, and uh, our electrician, uh, Kimry Electric, will be out on site for that flight check to make any adjustments as they uh, come in and fly the pappies at different angles. Uh, they'll do this both during the day and in the evening or after sunset. Um, but after that point, things should be uh, ready to rock and roll. Um, like I said, punch list items remain. Um, so hopefully here the weather dries up uh, just a little bit to get a few of those done, but I have a feeling that a couple of those are going to remain until spring. Um, but other than that, we're we're getting really close to the finish line here. So, thank you. Very good. Good discussion. Roll call, please. Waller. Yes. Wally. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Scott. Yeah. Klein. Yes. Okay. Item B is approval of pay application number four, the final for the HMA resurfacing of the 2024 street repairs. In the amount of $79,530.92 to the asphalt and paving. It's their final pay request for the project, which is all complete. Um, our documents have been reviewed and signed off by the project manager and we recommend approval. Have a motion, please. Pay application number four final for the HF 13 the street. Oh, okay. Discussion? Nothing specific on this project, but I wanted to let council know that this project did get selected for the 2024 Asphalt Paving Association's Project of the Year. Uh, so this this is in the municipal category, and we'll get an award uh, at the Asphalt Paving Conference coming up in December. Uh, so great project, turned out really well. Good contractor, good team effort all the way around. Anything else? Good. Roll call. Wally? Yes. Fine. Yes. Shelley? Yes. Smaller? Yeah. Shop? Yeah. Okay. Item C is resolution approving an application for assistance and training contract with Workforce Training and Economic Development Fund. Um, the city had previously went through the WTED fund um, to do entrepreneurial operating systems, EOS, it is used by the city leadership team. I want to continue to use this program. It is crucial to not just the leadership team, but all city employees. Um, the application, their funding is for one year of training at $25,000. Uh, the administrative cost of $37,50 and a local cash match of $8,625. Allows them to sign all documents related to the grant application and the workforce training and economic development. I have a motion, please. Make a motion to approve this. Um, Ben's not here, but um, basically we get a grant for most of that money, so our share is just at 86.25. Um, I don't know how many employees that allows us to send to the training, but um, 10, okay. And they could build up to DMAC and they can and buses and get things. So it's a very nice program, give their employees some additional training during the year. So, any other discussion? Okay, now we'll call. Yes, Shelly? Yes. Waller? Yes. Waller? Yes, Scott? Yes. Okay, on to new business. Um, we have some annual uh, appointments this 
month. So the first one, item A, is a resolution making council appointments to the 2025 Dallas County B911 board. Um, and it's made via resolution. It would approve uh, Police Chief Jim Archer, its primary member, primary member, and appoint Police Sergeant Alex Lott as the alternative to allow them to vote on the E911 board for the year 2025. We have a motion, please. A motion to approve item A resolution making council appointments to 2025 Dallas I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Roll call then. Ellen? Yes. Waller? Yeah. Waller? Yes. Scott? Yeah. Klein? Yes. Okay. So uh, item B is similar. It's a resolution appointing representatives and alternative to the Dallas County Emergency Management Commission, DCEMC, for 2025. Um, with reappoint me as the mayor um, and then uh, as the representative and uh, Chief Jim Archer as the alternate to the Dallas County Emergency Management Commission 2025. I'd let you know that um, previous chief pretty much went to all those and I didn't have to. So I'm <laughs> kind of expecting something similar arrangement on this one, but I did phone into a few of them just to know what was going on. But uh, he'll, he'll be the primary representative, I'm sure. So um, can I have a motion, please? Make a motion we pass the resolution appointing representative and alternative of Dallas County Emergency Council. Wow. Okay. Discussion? Okay. Roll call. Walling? Yes. Scott? Yes. Shelley? Yes. Waller? Yes. Klein? Yes. Okay. MC is a resolution approving the fiscal year 2024 hour DOT street finance report. Um, we have to submit an annual report. Um, Susie completes this and she's added in the package. Um, it's expenditures on street maintenance, snow removal, and construction. Um, and then if we approve it, it will be submitted as required. Okay. Could I have a motion, please? Make a motion to pass resolution approved in fiscal year 2024 Iowa DC Street Finance Report. And I'll set that. Okay. Susie, you want to? Yeah, we'll be taxed. Um, that's based on the population. So we are public to get more of from like fuel sales, like um, things like that. So we have to keep track of it separately since it's um, required that. What we receive for revenue uh, from the DOT for fiscal year 2024 was $1,006,997. And the ending balance that was $1,58,589. Now, for a tax, that fund is mostly. Um, the maintenance and the roads, um, the capital projects like the HMA project or Willis Avenue or even like um, another smaller street project, so cows and things like that. Those come out of local option or, or out of debt service. So those smaller projects come out of local option, but the big ones come out of, or smaller projects come out of roads, but the big ones. The questions? The concept of the Yeah, that was awesome. Anything else? No conference? Caller? Yes. Wally? Yes. Stone? Yes. Scott? Yes. Klein? Yes. Okay, item D is resolution certifying buying the tip debt to the county auditor. Um, tip 403 of the Iowa Code allows it. Urban renewal areas to utilize it, tip financing for public improvements. Um, and then we have to send in an annual report. And the fiscal year 2026 Paratech Increment Financing District has an outstanding debt in the district 25014 in the amount of $415,847. This would certify that amount to Dallas County Auditor for the collection of taxes for the district for the retirement of outstanding debt by November 1st, 2020. Motion, please. Motion. Motion item B resolution certified tip financing for debt to the county office. I'll second. Okay. Discussion. Um, so the tip debt, we only request what we need to hear for our loan agreement for our development agreement. We don't request the entire increment just because we don't want that to affect it. 
to get the money. Um, so the what we're certifying this year, um, twenty thousand, so the golden or the Greater Dallas County Development Alliance Development Agreement. We've got bond payments for downtown and twenty eight. Got other development agreements. Um, he actually get principal, and then for that low, the middle income housing support project. So we just requesting the payments. Questions on that? Okay, roll call, please. Kelly? Yes. Klein? Yes. Waller? Yes. Waller? Yes. Scott? Yeah. Okay, and then we got a resolution accepting the annual urban renewal fiscal year 2024 report. Um, House file 2460 requires an annual report and approved by the city council and it has to be submitted by December 1st, 2024. Um, it allows Susie to submit per the law. We sign, uh, sign off on it. So, need a motion, please. Need motion to approve this. Yes. Second. 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 So this is for the past six years before. Um, past balance um, is 143687 dollars. Um, our revenue last year was $301,897 and then our spending is $327,000. Discussion. Roll call, please. Fine. Yes. Wallace. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Wallace. Yes. Chop. Yeah. Okay. We've got uh, item F. Um, so our last agenda item. And if we keep this up, we're going to we'll be expecting us to have short meetings now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a resolution accepting fiscal year 2024 annual report. Um, chapter 384.22 of the code of Iowa requires. City's annual fiscal report to be published each year and a copy to be furnished to the auditor of the state of Iowa. Um, this will be published in the newspaper and uh, as required, and then um, it will be sent in with financials from the city of Perry. So I have a motion to approve. Motion to approve item F resolution accepting the fiscal year 2024 annual report. And I'll second. This annual report is for all um, expenditures and revenues transferring out for capital projects, governmental type of um, revenues, and then the business type revenues, black water. So water works, even though they're a separate entity, they have to be included on our expenditures. Um, so their revenue expenditures and tax balance are included in this. Um, so for the, in fiscal year 2024, the total actual revenue or actual revenue was thirty five million five hundred and fifty thousand six hundred also includes all of our bond funds, our general funds, or any kind of revenue and our balance at the end of the year. For water and city, seven million eight hundred ninety thousand ninety one dollars. This will be in the newspaper this Thursday. It'll also be on our website. Um, it's every city has to do an annual financial report, and they are searchable, so you can compare like, different cities like how is that? So the website is pretty valuable. Thank you for preparing all these reports. It's, um, uh, it's hard enough just understanding them when you read them, but let alone putting all the stuff together. So, we had a very busy week last week. Yes. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. Roll call, please. Sally? Yes. Wally? Yes. Waller? Yes. Shop? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any other business? 
Okay, what do we think about the meeting hall there? I'm Leon Johnson with the team. In fact, I mean, I do have an update for Brownfield Province. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good time now or. I'll step up my phone. I know you guys are speaking along. I won't make it very, very long. Um, uh, so I'm just going to go over quickly um, some of the things that we have accomplished in the short time we recently assessing this grant. So the grant period runs from from July um, uh, 1st of 2020 to uh, September 20th, uh, 30, 2027. And then um, we have, um, currently we have, um, there was an expected community involvement plan that's been completed. The Brownfield um, program website has uh, been updated and completed. And then we also have a program brochure. Um, we've done um, the city council presentation one at the very beginning and now um, this one here as well. And then we'll have um, community involvement events, which we have five expected. We've done three um, through the farmer's market, and we've done a few other things in town um, here as well. Um, just to get through, we have um, to create a generic um, a quality assurance protection project plan. That's good. We have five expected, and one is completed. Um, we have phase ones. Um, we have 15 expected, and we have two of those completed. Um, with those, um, with a phase one, it's, an, it's a pretty Kind of a, a desktop um, a review, environmental review, to see if there's any issues, and then there's a further investigation that come with those. And we did do a phase two um, here on second, and um, that one was completed, and we have four expected in total of those. Um, so yeah, we're looking at like the, uh, the 1110 second um, street that was a phase one completed, a phase two completed. We also had um, uh, the asbestos and lead based paint um, uh, inspection; those were completed and turned into the city. Um, and then we also did some work with uh, our ready mix plant here downtown. Uh, we do have quite a few properties that are um, on our list that are target properties, and we're waiting for um, uh, owner approval um, to move forward with those projects. Um, and right now, um, we're looking at the budget um, is uh, 23 percent um, has been expended. Um, you're still um, you know, we the total budget for the program was about some uh, three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and have spent eighty six thousand one hundred and sixty nine eleven cents of that project. And a lot of that's kind of getting everything started. Um we have done a pretty much an entire city inventory of the target areas that we're looking at and um we've done a, quite a bit of work. So those sort of programs will be available like way past beyond this um actual grant. And so it's a it's a really good insight on where your community stands and that sort of thing. Um, it is a big, um, a big project, um, and it's it's um, it's success really partnership between what we do and what your city is capable of um, kind of bringing to us and getting out and just letting people know that this program is available. Um, it's a really big, uh, really big step forward um, to getting some of these kind of um, some of these buildings that have big question marks on them. We can help remove some of those question marks. Is there any questions for me as far as the program is concerned? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, nothing else. We will adjourn. Thank you all for coming.